Hello students and welcome to another English lesson with teacher David. Today we'll be continuing with our sentence structures. Let's have a look at the vocabulary we will be using today. Please pay attention how teacher uses them in sentences because there are some clues on how to do your classwork and homework for today. All right, let's begin. Our first word is fruit. A fruit is the product of a tree or plant that can be eaten as food. Let's practice saying the words out loud three times each. Let's begin. Fruit. 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 Very good. Let's jump to the next one. Next we have sweet fruit. Sweet is something that we can taste. For example, sweet or sour. I'm sure you know these words already. It is a use, it is a word that we use to describe how food tastes. For an example, an apple is a sweet fruit. Practice saying them together. Sweet fruit. Sweet fruit. A little bit faster. Sweet fruit. We use the word sweet as an adjective and it helps to explain what we are tasting. The next word we will see in today's sentences is planes. One plane, many planes. As we can see in the picture. The word plane is short for aeroplane or airplane. In our example, planes fly up in the sky. Okay, nice and easy. It means the same as aeroplane. And singular is plane, plural to talk about many, planes. Let's practice saying it. Planes. 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 Excellent. Nice work, guys. Our next word is higher. Maybe you know the word high. We've spoken about it many times before. But higher is a form of the same word. Let's look at our examples. Birds fly high in the sky. It shows us where they are. But planes fly higher than birds. We use this word to compare two things. Let's practice saying it out loud. Higher. Higher. A little bit faster. Higher. Very good. The next word we will see today, paints. Paint is the color. We use it to create pictures. Paints is the action. Okay, it's like the verb form of the word. Look at our picture. The cat paints a picture. When we add S to some of the nouns, it changes to the verb form and it shows us an action. So paint is the physical thing that we can see and we can touch the different colors. But if we say the cat paints a picture, that means the cat is using paint and he's making his own picture. Let's practice saying it out loud. Paints. Paints. Remember, I want to hear that S at the end. Paints. Excellent. Very good. Let's go to the last one. The next word we have, nails. One nail, many nails. Nails are the hard things at the ends of your fingers. If a mosquito bites you, it is really nice to scratch with your nails. In our picture at the bottom, let's look at the example. She paints her nails. Okay, that means she's using pretty colors and painting them on her nails to make them look beautiful. Let's practice this one. Nails. Nails. Let's practice the sentence. 
She paints her nails. Excellent work today, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls, that brings us to the end of our first lesson for today. If you're still struggling with some of the words, please rewind the video, listen carefully, and practice saying the words until you get it right. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.